All right. <clears throat> Let's check this out here. Ooh, nice. Getting there. Cute. I think what I'm reacting to here. I do like the little ear flick is nice. It's all nice. Keep alive. I think the only thing I would say. Maybe it's just because we see the structure of that collar. So that when she starts turning her head, that head rotation, especially through here, feels a bit separate. Now, I see movement through here. I just wonder if there's anything. Maybe it's because I'm reacting how the hair hits the collar. I feel like if there's anything we can do to move that piece around a bit. It just feels so locked there. That's a super picky comment that I wouldn't really worry about too much. So first thing. It's cute that it'll... Boop, that little look back. The only thing I would say is given the flick and the head shakiness, this feels light and a bit soft. I will probably ease into this a tiny bit more so you don't have over oh, one frame, so you don't have the pop in the knees, but then go back and maybe hold that down for one more frame, so that, and then maybe two, to then snap out into that jump a bit more. But also what happens is that arc-wise, it feels like you're doing this, you go down, you start with a bit of an arc, that's good, but then it goes fairly straight, and then it suddenly stops, and actually goes back this way. But the thing is, it starts to travel this way without anything pushing her this way, except this leg, where this leg lands only here, and maybe around now, there would be enough force mechanically to move her forward. So for her to go up and then just change direction like this while this is still traveling over this way that just doesn't quite feel right there let's pretend that's okay though and we get to maybe run here the only thing i would say is that she feels a bit like she's on wires and there and she's not quite touching the ground for enough impact if that makes sense so she would jump up and even this here, watch how you get some knee wobble there. I will probably extend this leg, just go a bit straighter with that extension. And then she can come up. And then because she's on her toes, there's not going to be that much surface there to, to stop her from going down versus a full flat foot to push against the drop. But that, I mean, if you, there's only this, I just feel like there would be a, a stronger drop and up in the roots it's just it just feels light especially then on this one where she almost feels like she hovers and then watch out it feels like that leg just locks out here where you just have a straight leg i will continue to go out with that step and maybe not yeah it feels like we're suddenly locking a bit too soon Right, this would already have a little bit of a foot roll, I guess. So not to zoom, almost. Too, it's kind of a back and forth of, just like we're, it's almost too locked here, where I want to feel like this would already be in a bend. Stay the bend here. Start to roll here. Start to be slightly bent there. Into this, but also if you go up here, it feels like you're going up with the leg and then it stops, which is giving us a bit more of an arc for that path. So just generally that walk just feels a bit poppy straight in the legs and just a bit light. Now you might say, yeah, but she, it's kind of a light feeling, especially with that arm up there. Like, hey, and ding, 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 ding. But I would just go a little bit stronger in the up and down and also involve the chest up and down a bit more. Up and down as in the rotation down and up. There's just, there's just a mixture of the lightness of the roots, some of those straight legs, but then this not really compressing at all where the arm movements you know like for instance let's look at this arm going forward i'm not quite sensing anything in the shoulder going forward with that arm nor in the chest doing any type of rotation in y that just feels just a bit strange through there and then that's okay she starts to get into this i'm not sure if i'm buying that rotation there if she rotates 
I guess so. There's a slight feeling of her. She would go this way. Then she tucks it in. Now it suddenly feels like she goes the other way. Or maybe it's for a moment where you kind of start to lose the grounds. We don't know quite where we are. But there's, there seems to be something all in the rotations. I know this is a super vague critique. She rotate, actually just rotate this way. I don't know, there's something where she, where her butt comes towards us. It just feels like the axis of rotation starts to change. Now it's complicated because you're going this way, plus this way. And I don't know if that's part of the camera. There's just something wonky in there in terms of the, the pivot and the axis of the rotation. And I would probably towards the ends get a bit more stretched out. So just right at the ends, you have a bit more of a, a, a stretch into a squash there. But also careful once we reach, reach this moment here, after the untucking here, those arms are just kind of dead, just staying put in that same pose. Then in this, I will probably go, and at this point, one arm will be lower than the other. Whatever you want to do for cleaner silhouette, maybe more like that. It just seems like, again, they come down and then they're just kind of two twins parented doing the same thing. That's all cute. I think that move up here is a bit harsh. There's some good follow through and tail and legs and right, arms. So it's not super stiff, but I still feel like, especially given this move this way, pushed out, you would overshoot with that line. If it would track that line, it would overshoot a bit and then come back. It's a bit of more of a side to side wobble on the root. That's still super cute. And watch out, if I look at the camera, it feels like you're rotating over translating and then you're stopping the rotation and it's just the translate. Right there. So it feels like that rotation also kind of ends when she ends here. Maybe that overshoot is because of the camera. Just watch out. I do have a nice, I would say a longer, softer ease into a rotational stop. It was like we were rotating, 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 stop, and just translating back. So it's kind of like rotation ends, but translate continues, right? So if it's a graph header, you get a rotational end, but then the uh, the translate just you know ends around here, and I would just smooth that out so that they're somewhat ending at the same time. It doesn't have to be. I understand there could be some overlap, but it just feels like the rotation is a bit too harsh and sudden. Because once I scrub through this, it just feels like that's just a straight, straight translate back. Imagine we just ease into that rotational um, stop a bit more over, over a long period of time. Maybe, I don't know how you're doing the tail. It has an ever so slight simulated feel to it because it's so slow and soft. If she goes, whoa, that tension and whoa, what's going on could also be reflected in the tail where it has a bit of a tail flick. And here it's fine. Rest is cool. Maybe I'm reacting also to this like little quick step pop, bloop, but then the tail is a bit soft. It's almost like you want to sharpen up the tail a little bit through there into that. And that's kind of that. It's very cute. It's a good update there. All right, that's it. Let me know if that makes sense or not. And if you have any questions, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.